everyone, I am Bhavna and today I have a question to ask. Do you know what is half or one third? These are called fractions. Today we are going to learn about this interesting topic with KPL Learning Fraction Kit. These are in two variants, circular format and strip format. Let us learn through circular format how it really works. This is a circle. When we divide it into two equal parts, each part becomes half, that is 1 by 2. Further, when we divide it into three equal parts, each part is called one third, that is 1 by 3. Now, divide the circle in four equal parts. Each part is called one fourth, that is 1 by 4. Similarly, divide the circle in 5, 6 and 8 equal parts. Each part is known as 1 fifth, 1 sixth and 1 eighth. So, fraction represents a part of whole and is represented as A by B form, where A is numerator and B is denominator. With the help of this kit, we can also learn equivalent fractions. This is half of a circle. We can represent halves in more than one way. If I take two pieces of one fourth, three pieces of one sixth and four pieces of one eighth, we get halves. We observe that all are halves. Now we, let us represent one third. Here I take one piece of one third and two pieces of one sixth. These two pieces of one sixth makes one third. Similarly, I take one piece of one fourth and two pieces of one eighth, I will get one fourth. Let us compare some unit fractions where numerator is one. Here I have two circles in which this is divided into two equal parts and this is divided into three equal parts. Now I will take one by two and one third. We can see that 1 by 2 is greater than 1 third. Let us take one more example. This circle is divided into 6 equal parts and this is divided into 8 equal parts. Now I will take 1 sixth and 1 eighth. We can see that 1 sixth is greater than 1 eighth. We can observe that as the denominator increases, the value of fraction decreases or vice versa. This is a circle divided into 4 equal parts and this is a circle divided into 5 equal parts. Now I will take 2 pieces of 1 fourth that is 2 by 4 and 3 pieces of 1 fifth that is 3 fifth. If we compare these two we can observe that 3 fifth occupies more area therefore 3 fifth is greater than 2 fourth. Here I have one more example for you. This is circle divided into 8 equal parts and this is divided into 6 equal parts. Here I have 5 pieces of 1 eighth that is 5 by 8 and 2 pieces of 1 sixth that is 2 sixth. We observe that 5 by 8 is greater than 2 by 6. The way we learn fraction concept with the circular variant, we can also do the same with these fraction strips. This is one strip. Now, we are going to divide this strip into two equal parts. Each part is known as halves. Now, divide this strip into three equal parts. Each part is known as one third. Similarly, we can divide this into four, five, six, seven, 8, 9 and 10 equal parts. Each part is known as 1 fourth, 1 fifth, 1 sixth, 1 seventh, 1 eighth, 1 ninth and 1 tenth part. With the help of this kit, we can also learn equivalent fractions. This is halves. We can represent halves in one more way like if I take two pieces of 1 fourth. or 3 pieces of 1 sixth 
or 4 pieces of 1 eighth. I will get half. Now let us represent 1 third. Take 2 pieces of 1 sixth. I will get 1 third. Similarly, 1 fourth can be represented as 2 pieces of 1 eighth. Now let us compare some unit fractions where numerator is 1 like here I have taken 1. Now we will compare different fractions. Here I have 1 by 2 and 1 third. We can see that 1 by 2 is greater than 1 third. Let us take one more example. Here I have 1 sixth and 1 eighth. We can see that 1 sixth is greater than 1 eighth. We can observe that as the denominator increases, the value of fraction decreases. Or we can say that as the denominator decreases, the value of fraction increases. Let us compare for different numerators. Here I have 2 pieces of 1 fourth that is 2 by 4 and 3 pieces of 1 fifth that is 3 fifth. If we compare these two, we can observe that 3 fifth occupies more area. Therefore. 3 fifth is greater than 2 fourth. Let's do one more example. Here I have 5 pieces of 1 eighth that is 5 by 8 and 3 pieces of 1 seventh that is 3 by 7. We observe that 5 by 8 is greater than 3 seventh. Keep practicing and happy learning.